How's it going kings and queens? It's King Robo. Welcome back to another video of WWE 2K23 My Factions. Today we're continuing with the This Is Awesome for the continuation of the week. Series 2. Before we get into the new packs that are coming out in about two days, because that's what we're basically doing here, because you're going to have uh, about two days to do these, we're going to be uh, doing the two events I think would be interesting for you guys that is based off of this is awesome series two packs. We've managed to get both cards, the Cameron and the JD, so we might as well do them. You have the KO match and the boss battle retribution Iron Man match. So I'm going to take care of the KO first and then we'll jump into the Iron Man. Okay, before we start, let's look at Cameron Grimes' stats, shall we? He has some pretty high stats up on the top and some in mid to the below parts like the finisher and the special like we always have on each card. He has a 99 in late power. His running offense is a 97. The arm durability is a 97. Body durability is a 90. Strength is a 99. Recovery is a 97. Special is also up there. And the finisher is a low 89. Kind of weird for his card, but we're only here to KO the opponent. So if you manage to get that special and finisher off, you're going to win this very easily. He has Swiftness, Rage, Sting Like a Bee, and the Pain Train. Let's jump on into this. With his unique blend of brutal offense and an in-ring ingenuity, Cameron Grimes has earned himself the nickname of the Technical Savage. I'd say it's pretty fitting. Well, that moniker really says it all. Grimes dishes out some surely devastating blows in the ring, but he's not all brute force. He also knows when it's time to turn tail and win. We'll see what side of Grimes we'll see in this match. Yeah, but have you seen Omos? Just look at him. What are you supposed to do with a guy like that? I think you hit the nail on the head. I don't think words can properly convey the sight of this young superstar, and that's before you see the power that he brings to the table. He's a little inexperienced, but when you can do what he can, incoming! Nobody hold on that. Steve, clear of that. Ooh. Big ball. And he barely agrees. Just mounted with punches. And, not, and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, what a kick! Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. They are fading off the WWE fans. Now pinning the arm down and oh, stop right to the hand. Face buster plants him. How does one contend with the devastating power of Cameron Grimes? If Grimes gets on a roll offensively, he can quickly overwhelm you. So you have to find ways to disrupt his rhythm and dictate the flow of this match. The more you control the tempo, the more you control Cameron Grimes. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. Oh, he retaliates. Picture. Perfect drop kick. Ooh. This is right for him. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. A camera drive with a swinging side effect. That's just the technical savage doing what he does best. Doesn't have to be pretty, just effective. A boss with great awareness. Enabled the counter. Oh, needed a job. Everything working against the last now. Yeah, Cameron's bringing out that country power of his. He's on his heels a bit now. Grimes able to hit that move with incredible impact. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. Oh, wow. Rendered unconscious. The official has to call him. Here is your winner, Cameron Grimes. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt-kicking. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got the men's side of the KO's matches done. Sadly, I couldn't get the Yale Sky. I'm going to try uh, to still get hers and save up as much points as I can. I'm probably not going to get her, but it's okay. At least we still got this one, and that's cool anyway. All right, next up, we got the Retribution Iron Man match with JD McDee's here. Let's look at the stats. He has a running offense at a 98. His diving range is a 99. The diving offense is a 92. His diving reversal is a 92 as well. Arm durability is a 97. His strength is a 92. Stamina is a 97. Agility and the recovery is a 99. Movement speed is a 92 with the finisher and special is a 99 both these cards have weird stats i would have swapped that special with the finisher at least and his badges slippery eel swiftness pain train and sting like a bee i see a pattern between these two but this yeah this isn't gonna really matter because in this match what i've learned because you're gonna have to do this four times and yes, we're going to check out the reward packs as well. Stay on him. Do not let him up. Yes, you might have one or two bad matches. But if you see it here, we might get lucky if we can keep him down. You'll end this pretty quickly in five minutes. Simple in an Iron Man match. Score the most victories within the time limit, and you're the winner. But well, you have to go the distance. One of the most storied matches in WWE history, and some would say the toughest test there is. Whoever said that never sat next to you. Standing moonsault, dealing out some damage and looking good at doing it. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, JD 
this match was daunting, but they stayed the course and earned the win. He is definitely a superstar to watch in the weeks to come. That was a spectacular performance. We got our Nathan Frazier reward, which is fantastic, I uh, will say, because this one surprisingly wasn't a pain. It was kind of fun to get. I only had to attempt it a fifth extra time, well, extra time, because uh, I messed up and I couldn't get the pin on the person and we drew, I think the match drew. Yeah, so nobody got a point and yeah, I had to restart, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, we got a bunch of rewards here. I want to open up real quick. Some of these I got from the Brad Hart challenge, which again, drove me mad. And we got some MFP and I think a diamond pack too. But we're gonna open these because they seem a little interesting. So let's see what we get. Still trying to go for that Xena card so we can get the Randy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it in time. Oh, these packs give nothing. Okay, we finally got something good. And we actually got The Miz, which surprisingly wasn't in the Series 2 foot. This is awesome. Ooh. Is that a pink? What an amethyst. Oh, that's a pink. You gotta slowly open these. Oh snap, give us something good. <laughs> I'll take it, it's Xavier Woods, all right. It'd be nice if we get the Lily in this one. Nah, I'm asking for too much. <laughs> it's a lot of MFP though. get two extra from the this is awesome so that's not bad all right kings and queens i guess we're gonna stop it there 
I hope you guys enjoyed the challenges we did this week for the new boss battles for these packs. We probably have something new coming Friday, and I can't wait for that. Uh, as always, I'm going to try to grind out as much as I can. I've been starting back with the weekly challenges with some of the Pink Diamond rewards we got, and they're pretty fun to use, not gonna lie. So, if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a good day, and peace, wrestling fans.